another video hey guys it is officially the end of 2018 2018 was pretty bomb for me I'm not going to lie so I'm so excited what I'm gonna be blessed with in 2019 thank God for this entire year the lessons and the many blessings so you guys if you can't already tell my last video of the year is a skincare video you guys seem to really like skincare videos on my channel and you guys are seeming to get into my hair care videos so i'll have a better balance of those but i'm going to end the year with a skincare video if you haven't seen my last skincare video i will link it in the description box below in the id cards above it is the clinique id one you guys seem to really respond to that one well so i don't know if you guys were interested in buying it or if people just want to know the tea on it so like always if this is your first time checking out my channel hello hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime i do any type of uploads also follow me on the gram so you guys if you can't already tell by the title i am reviewing a neutrogena product neutrogena is not new to my channel i've done quite a few neutrogena reviews i will link some above in the cards above in the cards and below in the description box this one was the most confusing and I don't know if it's because my expectations were too high or I didn't even know what to expect so that's possibly it so is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Facial Gel Mist so for starters I I've tried out the Hydro Boost eye cream the water gel moisturizer the facial I want to say the facial cleanser yes I've tried out pretty much most of the stuff almost there's a few things that I haven't picked up but this was one of the ones that I just seen and I was like hey I like mist let me check it out but if you've ever watched my channel you always know I have a mist somewhere in my routine because I just like them so this one was no different but it was kind of weird because it's a gel mist so I don't know if y'all can see that but you guys, I, I was confused. Like, I, I just was really confused. <laughs> so, this retail price for $20.99 or $19.99, depending on where you get it, for 3.3 fluid ounces, that's pretty steep for a drugstore miss. Most drugstore miss range anywhere between like five to like 12 bucks. So the fact that they put it at 20.99 or 19.99, depending on where you get it from, was a surprise to me. It says that a lightweight gel mist boosted with a complex of purified hyaluronic acid, antioxidants, and botanical extracts to instantly revive and improve the look of pollution stress skin this facial mist can be applied under or over makeup i would apply this over makeup and can be spritzed throughout the day for refreshed dewy skin so this almost reminds me of a setting spray however this spray never seeps in your skin and i'm going to show you guys this on my hand so these are two completely different mists. I know they're two completely different mists. They're made up of two different things, but this is what I'm used to a mist doing. So this is just a water deep moisturizing mist by Nuni. And this is what it looks like on. So if you spray it, that's a little extreme. But when you spray it, this is the consistency and then eventually it absorbs in your skin. So this is my right hand. My left hand, I'm going to spray this one. And for this is a gel mist, so it is going to have a different consistency and it is going to spray a little bit different. So as y'all can see, 
that's the consistency of the two and this one just eventually absorbed and it just moisturized fell into my skin this one we're gonna wait till it dries and then y'all are gonna see how it dries so as y'all can see they did come out very very different on hand and that honestly wasn't the issue so as time went on I thought okay yeah it's gonna absorb it's gonna make my hand feel amazing or my face feel amazing and obviously you spray a lot less on your face because it is a gel so you have different expectations for this so you do like one to two pumps one to three pumps whatever away from your face so as y'all can see this is what it still looks like it still has a lumpy consistency and it's still wet the thing that I didn't understand about it and maybe because it's taking this mist is geared more towards the shield property than anything it once it finally like settled onto my skin because it never settled into my skin it was very sticky it was kind of a tacky residue left and the residue the best way to describe the residue is you know how you do a facial mask and it still has that excess product on it but the product just depending on the type of mask you get it just sits on your skin that's what it felt like and then when I washed my face off at the end of the night my face still felt very very dry so not only did this mist not do anything for me but it was just very very sticky very very tacky and it left like a film over my skin so as far as the shield concern I'm pretty sure it did shield your skin but if you look on the website it at it promotes moisture as well that seeps into your skin so it's almost like it did half of the job and for me I'm just not a big fan of mists that don't settle into my skin like you can tell this one still has settled into my skin this one on the other hand I don't know if you can see up close it hasn't settled but it still leaves like a film like it's just it's weird so like I said I don't know if you can really tell but I would never personally recommend this product because it didn't do anything it just kind of made everything look pretty and when you look for a skincare product you want it to actually effectively do something and this one it didn't so sound off in the comment section let me guys know if I'm using it wrong let me know if y'all used it let me know if my expectations are a little too high I, I don't know this product was just so confusing to me and I was so excited about it but it just didn't do it for me so sign off in the comment section below let me know I've been reading some of the comments on this and some of the comments align with how I felt about the product so just let me know sound off in the comment section your girl's confused but I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's and I will see you guys in 2019 bye